Have you ever wondered about the story behind the sweetest voice in music history? Karen Carpenter, with her melodious tones, soared to unimaginable heights, but faced a heart-wrenching downfall. Her journey from a hopeful young artist to a global icon, shadowed by personal battles, is a tale of contrasts. Karen Carpenter, the pop singing star, died today of cardiac arrest. Join me as we delve into the life of this extraordinary singer, whose voice echoed far beyond the stage, leaving a legacy that still resonates today. The early years and rise to fame. Karen Ann Carpenter's story begins on March 2, 1950, in New Haven, Connecticut. Born into a music-loving family, her inclination towards music was evident from a young age. But who could have guessed that this young girl, alongside her brother Richard, would one day form one of the most successful duos in music history? The family moved to Downey, California in 1963, a relocation that would prove pivotal for Karen's future. Here, she attended Downey High School, where her musical talents began to flourish. Initially, Karen was drawn to the drums, a somewhat unconventional choice for young women at the time. Her drumming skills were impressive, but it was her voice, discovered almost by accident, that would captivate the world. The Carpenters, formed in 1969, started as a jazz-influenced band, but soon found their niche in the soft, melodic pop that became their trademark. Karen's voice, with its warm, soothing tones, became the focal point of the band's sound. It wasn't just her technical prowess, it was the emotion she could convey. A sense of longing, love, and sometimes a touch of sadness. Their breakthrough came with the song Close to You in 1970. This track catapulted them to fame, making them household names almost overnight. The song, with its gentle melody and Karen's tender vocals, struck a chord with listeners worldwide. It was followed by a string of hits like We've Only Just Begun, Rainy Days and Mondays, and Top of the World, each showcasing Karen's unique vocal abilities. The Carpenters' success in the early 70s was phenomenal. They won numerous awards, including three Grammy Awards, and Karen was especially praised for her vocal performances. But it wasn't just their music that appealed to the masses. It was also their clean, wholesome image, a refreshing contrast to the wild rock and roll lifestyle that was prevalent in the music industry at the time. However, behind the scenes, the pressure was mounting. The music industry is often unkind, and the Carpenters, despite their success, were not immune to criticism. They faced skepticism from some who didn't take their soft pop sound seriously. This external pressure, combined with the high standards they set for themselves, began to take a toll, especially on Karen. Karen, in her quest for perfection, began to grapple with her self-image. She was acutely aware of how she appeared on camera and in photos, leading to an unhealthy obsession with her weight. This obsession would later evolve into a full-blown eating disorder, which, at the time, was not well understood or openly discussed. Amidst these personal struggles, the Carpenters continued to produce hit after hit. They adapted to changing musical trends while maintaining their signature style. Their albums in the mid-70s, though not. As commercially successful as their earlier work, were still critically acclaimed. Karen's voice remained the band's most potent and beloved instrument, even as she battled her inner demons. Their fame reached international shores with successful tours in Europe and Japan. The Carpenters. Music transcended cultural and linguistic barriers, touching the hearts of fans across the globe. It was Karen's voice that connected them all. A voice that spoke of love, heartache, and the simple joys of life. By the late 70s, the physical and emotional strain was evident. Karen's health began to visibly deteriorate, and her battle with anorexia became more pronounced. It was a battle that she fought largely in private, with the public only catching glimpses of her struggle. Yet, through it all, her commitment to her music never wavered. The voice that touched millions. Karen Carpenter's voice was a rare gem in the music industry. It had a quality that was both soothing and hauntingly beautiful. It wasn't just the clarity and range of her voice that made it special, but the emotional depth she infused into every note. 
Karen had the unique ability to convey the heart of a song, making listeners feel as though she was singing just for them. The Carpenters' songs, primarily composed by Richard with Karen's vocals front and center, struck a perfect balance between lyrical simplicity and musical sophistication. Their music, often categorized as soft rock or adult contemporary, appealed to a wide audience. It was the kind of music that transcended generational boundaries. Parents and children could enjoy it together, each finding something to love in the melodies and words. Karen's vocal style was distinctive. She had a contralto vocal range, which is relatively rare for female singers. This gave her voice a richness and warmth that was incredibly appealing. Moreover, she had impeccable control over her voice, able to convey a range of emotions from joy to sorrow, often within the same song. Her technique was flawless. She knew exactly how to phrase lyrics, when to hold back, and when to let her voice soar. Songs like Rainy Days and Mondays and Superstar showcase the melancholic side of Karen's voice. In Rainy Days and Mondays, her voice perfectly captures the song's essence of longing and introspection. In Superstar, her rendition of the line, Loneliness is such a sad affair, is delivered with such genuine emotion that it resonates deeply with listeners. These songs became anthems for those who found solace in Karen's voice during their own moments of solitude and reflection. The Carpenters' upbeat songs like Top of the World and We've Only Just Begun highlight another aspect of Karen's vocal prowess. In these tracks, her voice exudes positivity and hope, a stark contrast to the more somber tunes. Top of the World is particularly notable for its uplifting melody and Karen's joyful delivery, a reminder of the brighter side of life. Karen's approach to singing was also noteworthy for its simplicity and purity. She didn't rely on vocal gymnastics or elaborate ornamentation. Instead, she focused on delivering the song's message with sincerity and clarity. This straightforward approach was part of what made her voice so appealing. It was unpretentious and accessible. The impact of Karen's voice went beyond the charts and record sales. She influenced a generation of singers who admired her ability to convey emotion through music. Artists across various genres have cited Karen as an inspiration, pointing to her unique vocal style and the genuine quality of her performances. Despite her fame and success, Karen remained humble and focused on her art. She was known for being approachable and down-to-earth qualities that endeared her to fans and colleagues alike. Her dedication to her craft was evident in every performance, whether she was recording in the studio or singing live on stage. Tragically, the same sensitivity that made her voice so expressive also made Karen vulnerable to the pressures of fame and the critical eye of the public. As she struggled with her self-image and health issues, her voice became a beacon of hope for her fans even as she fought her own battles in private. In retrospect, Karen's voice is a bittersweet reminder of what was and what could have been. Her songs continue to resonate with audiences around the world, a testament to her talent and the emotional depth of her music. The legacy of Karen Carpenter's voice is not just in the records she left behind, but in the hearts she touched and the lives she influenced through her music. Behind the Spotlight challenges and struggles. Karen Carpenter's rise to stardom with the Carpenters painted a picture of musical success and familial harmony. Yet, behind the spotlight, Karen faced a myriad of challenges and struggles, both personal and professional, that would impact her life and career significantly. The pressure of fame was a constant in Karen's life. As the Carpenters' popularity soared, so did the demands on Karen and her brother Richard. There were endless recording sessions, tours, interviews, and public appearances. The duo was under constant scrutiny, and every aspect of their music and image was analyzed and sometimes criticized. This intense focus, especially on Karen as the face of the band, led to an immense pressure to maintain a perfect public image. Karen's struggle with her self-image was perhaps her most significant and well-documented challenge. Living in the limelight, she became increasingly self-conscious about her appearance. The music industry at the time, and arguably still today, often placed unrealistic beauty standards on female artists. For Karen, this manifested in a preoccupation with her weight. 
She embarked on a diet in the early 1970s, but what started as an innocent attempt to lose a few pounds spiraled into a dangerous obsession. Anorexia nervosa, the eating disorder Karen suffered from, was not widely understood or recognized during her time. Karen's drastic weight loss was initially met with concern, but not the medical intervention necessary for such a severe health issue. As her condition worsened, it began to affect her physical health and, in turn, her ability to perform. Her voice, once strong and clear, started to weaken and her energy levels dropped, making it difficult to maintain the grueling schedule of a global music star. Karen's personal life also had its share of challenges. Despite her fame and success, she often felt lonely and struggled to find lasting romantic relationships. Her marriage to real estate developer Thomas Burris in 1980 was, unfortunately, short-lived and reportedly tumultuous. The failure of her marriage added to her emotional distress, further complicating her struggles with health and self-image. Professionally, Karen and Richard faced their own set of challenges. While their music was immensely popular with the public, it wasn't always well-received by critics, who sometimes dismissed it as overly, saccharine, or lightweight. This criticism, though often overshadowed by their commercial success, weighed heavily on Karen, who took great pride in her art. The pressure to evolve their sound and keep up with changing musical trends was a constant challenge. In the mid-1970s, Richard struggled with addiction, which led to a temporary hiatus for the Carpenters and further strain on Karen. During this period, Karen attempted to forge her own path with a solo album. This venture, however, was met with mixed reactions and ultimately did not achieve the success she had hoped for. This setback was a significant blow to Karen, who had invested a lot of herself into the project. Karen's battle with anorexia nervosa became the central struggle of her later years. As her condition deteriorated, it became apparent that what was initially seen as a diet was a serious health issue. She underwent treatment in the early 1980s, which included a stay at a facility specializing in eating disorders. This period marked a rare moment in her life when she stepped away from the public eye to focus on her health. Karen's struggle with anorexia was not only a personal battle, but also became a public one. As one of the first high-profile cases of the disorder, her illness brought much-needed attention to anorexia nervosa and its severity. Unfortunately, the understanding and treatment of eating disorders were still in their infancy, and Karen did not receive the comprehensive care that might be available today. Despite her challenges, Karen continued to work on music with Richard though at a less intensive pace. Her resilience in the face of personal and health struggles was remarkable. She remained committed to her craft and her fans, even as she fought her own private battles, the downward spiral, and untimely death. The final chapter in Karen Carpenter's life is a poignant and tragic tale of a star whose light faded too soon. It's a story marked by a relentless struggle against personal demons, and a downward spiral that led to her untimely and heartbreaking death. As the 1970s drew to a close, the signs of Karen's deteriorating health became more evident. Her battle with anorexia nervosa, a disorder that was little understood at the time, was taking a visible toll on her body and her spirit. Despite her ongoing struggles, Karen continued to perform and record with the Carpenters, but the vibrancy and energy that once defined her were waning. The physical effects of her illness were profound. Karen's weight dropped to dangerous levels and her once powerful voice began to weaken. The toll on her health was not just physical. Emotionally and mentally, Karen was in a state of distress. Her illness, compounded by the pressures of fame and the personal disappointments she had endured, left her in a vulnerable state. In 1982, Karen made a significant step towards recovery by seeking treatment for her eating disorder. She spent months in New York City under the care of a specialist, showing signs of improvement as she gained weight and strength. To those around her, it appeared that Karen was on the road to recovery, and there was a renewed sense of hope. However, the path to recovery is often non-linear, and for Karen, the years of strain on her body had taken a significant toll. On February 4, 1983, the world was shocked by the news of Karen Carpenter's death at the age of 32. The cause of death was heart failure, a complication of her years-long battle with anorexia nervosa. 
The suddenness of her passing left her family, friends, and fans around the world in a state of disbelief and grief. Karen's death brought the issue of eating disorders to the forefront of public consciousness. She became one of the first high-profile victims of anorexia nervosa, a disease that was, at the time, shrouded in misunderstanding and stigma. Her passing prompted a much-needed dialogue about the disorder, leading to increased awareness and a better understanding of its dangers. The impact of Karen's death on the music industry and her fans was profound. The Carpenters' music, once a source of joy and comfort, took on a new layer of meaning. Songs like Rainy Days and Mondays and Superstar, always tinged with melancholy, now resonated with the sadness of her loss. The world mourned not just for a talented musician, but for a young woman whose life was cut tragically short. In the aftermath of her death, there was a re-evaluation of the pressures placed on artists, particularly women, in the entertainment industry. Karen's struggle with body image and self-perception highlighted the unrealistic standards and intense scrutiny faced by female performers. Her story became a cautionary tale about the potentially fatal consequences of these pressures. Despite the tragedy of her death, Karen's legacy continued to grow. The Carpenters' music saw a resurgence in popularity as new generations discovered the timeless quality of their songs. Karen's voice, with its unique blend of warmth and melancholy, continued to touch the hearts of listeners around the world. Karen's influence extended beyond her music. Her life and death brought much-needed attention to eating disorders, contributing to better understanding, treatment, and prevention of these conditions. She posthumously became an icon for awareness and change, her story a powerful reminder of the importance of mental and physical health. The story of Karen Carpenter is a bittersweet symphony of triumph and tragedy. It's a narrative that underscores the human cost of fame and the fragility of life. Karen's journey through the heights of stardom to the depths of personal struggle is a poignant reminder of the resilience and vulnerability of the human spirit. Legacy and Influence Karen Carpenter's untimely death left a void in the music world, but her legacy has endured growing even stronger in the years since her passing. Her influence extends far beyond the records she made with the Carpenters, touching the lives of artists, musicians, and fans across generations. At the heart of Karen's legacy is her unique voice, which remains an indelible part of the musical landscape. Her ability to convey deep emotion through her singing has influenced a wide array of artists. Many singers cite Karen as a key influence, admiring her for the purity of her tone, her emotional delivery, and her understated yet powerful vocal technique. Her style, characterized by its clarity and heartfelt emotion, has become a benchmark for vocalists in various genres. The Carpenter's music, with its blend of soft rock, pop, and adult contemporary styles, left a lasting mark on the music industry. Songs like Close to You, We've Only Just Begun, and Rainy Days and Mondays have become classics covered by numerous artists and featured in films, television shows, and commercials, further cementing their place in popular culture. These songs' enduring popularity is a testament to Karen's timeless appeal and the universal quality of the music she helped create. Karen's impact goes beyond her musical achievements. She has become an icon in the fight against eating disorders. Her struggle with anorexia nervosa brought much-needed attention to the condition, helping to break down the stigma and misunderstanding surrounding eating disorders. In the wake of her death, there was a significant increase in public awareness, research, and resources dedicated to these conditions. Karen's story has been a source of strength and hope for many who have faced similar challenges, and her legacy continues to inspire efforts to promote body positivity and mental health awareness. In the years following her death, Karen has been remembered and honored in various ways, Documentaries, books, and biographical films have explored her life and career, offering insight into her struggles and achievements. These works have helped to keep her memory alive, introducing her story to new audiences and providing a deeper understanding of her as an artist and a person. The Carpenters' music has seen a resurgence in popularity, with their albums being reissued and their songs being rediscovered by new generations of listeners. The timeless quality of their music 
speaks to its lasting appeal. It resonates with audiences today just as it did when it was first released. Karen's voice, with its warmth and familiarity, continues to be a source of comfort and joy to many. The legacy of Karen Carpenter also includes her influence on the treatment of eating disorders. Her high-profile case has led to better understanding and management of these conditions. Through increased awareness and improved treatment options, Karen's story has helped countless individuals receive the care and support they need. Karen's influence can be seen in the way artists approach their craft and their public image. Her story serves as a reminder of the importance of authenticity and self-care in the face of industry pressures. Many artists today are more vocal about their struggles, breaking down the barriers that once silenced discussions about mental health and well-being in the entertainment world. Karen Carpenter's legacy is multifaceted. It encompasses her musical achievements, her impact on public awareness of mental health issues, and her influence on other artists. Her voice continues to resonate, a haunting reminder of her talent and the emotional depth she brought to her music. Her story, both inspiring and tragic, serves as a powerful narrative about the human condition, the beauty of art, and the importance of compassion and understanding. The Personal Side of Karen Carpenter, Reflections and Memories Beyond her public persona as a musical icon, Karen Carpenter was a woman of depth, warmth, and complexity. This chapter delves into the personal side of Karen, exploring her character, passions, and the lesser-known aspects of her life that paint a more intimate portrait of the artist. Karen's personality was a blend of quiet strength, vulnerability, and a sense of humor that often shone through in her interactions with friends, family, and even fans. Those who knew her closely described her as caring, down-to-earth, and genuinely humble about her extraordinary talents. Despite her international fame, she maintained a level of approachability and sincerity that endeared her to many. Music was Karen's first love, but her interests and passions extended beyond the world of melodies and lyrics. She was an accomplished drummer, breaking gender barriers in what was then a predominantly male-dominated field. Her skills on the drums were not just technically proficient, they were expressive, adding a dynamic layer to the Carpenter's music. Karen's role as a female drummer at the forefront of a successful band was pioneering and inspired many young women to pursue their musical ambitions. Away from music, Karen had a variety of interests. She was an avid baseball fan, with a particular fondness for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Her love for the game was more than just a casual interest. She was knowledgeable about the sport and enjoyed discussing it with fellow fans and players. This passion for baseball revealed a different side of Karen, one that was lively, competitive, and immersed in the joys of life. Karen's relationship with her family, especially her brother Richard, was a central part of her life. The bond between the Carpenter siblings was not just professional, but deeply personal. They shared a mutual respect and understanding, both musically and in their family life. This connection, however, was also complex, as the pressures of fame and the dynamics of working closely with family brought its own set of challenges. Despite her struggles with fame and health, Karen had moments of joy and happiness. Her friends recall her laughter, her love for jokes, and the light-hearted moments that provided a respite from the demands of her career. These glimpses into her personal life show a woman who, despite the challenges she faced, found ways to enjoy life and cherish her relationships. Karen's romantic life, though marked by heartbreak and disappointment, also sheds light on her desire for love and companionship. Her marriage to Thomas Burris was a significant chapter in her life, one that, despite its unhappy ending, revealed her deep capacity for love and her vulnerability. The relationship, though fraught with difficulties, was a testament to her human need for connection and intimacy. The legacy of Karen Carpenter is often focused on her musical achievements and her tragic battle with anorexia nervosa. However, understanding her personal life provides a fuller picture of who she was as a person. It highlights her multifaceted personality, her passions outside of music, and her experiences in love and life. Karen's friends and family have shared stories and memories that keep her memory alive. Through their reflections, we see not just a star, but a daughter, sister, 
friend, and human being with dreams, desires, and a life beyond the stage. These personal anecdotes and memories add depth to her legacy, reminding us that behind the iconic voice was a woman with a rich and complex life. In remembering Karen Carpenter, it's essential to acknowledge not just her public persona, but also the personal side of her story. Her life was a tapestry of triumphs and challenges, professional milestones and private moments. By exploring these aspects of her life, we gain a more holistic understanding of Karen Carpenter, not just as a musical legend, but as a person who lived, loved, and left an indelible mark on the world. Karen's journey with its highs and lows offers insights into the human experience, the pursuit of passion, the complexities of fame, and the resilience in the face of adversity. Her personal story is a crucial part of her legacy, a narrative that continues to inspire and resonate with those who remember her. In these reflections and memories lies the true essence of Karen Carpenter, a woman whose life was as rich and nuanced as the music she left behind.